Welcome to Digital Electronics Lecture Series. I, Professor Ires Dolakia, is going to explain you binary weightage digital to analog converter in this video. And this is my first video based on digital to analog converter. So first I'll explain you what is digital analog converter and what are the parameters that we need to understand with digital to analog converter. And after that I'll explain you all those things with respect to binary weightage digital to analog converter. So see when we talk about digital to analog converter then it will be having inputs that is digital input and it will be having output that will be analog output. So here we'll be connecting digital inputs and here we'll be having analog output. And with this digital to analog converter, we'll be giving reference voltage. In some ICs, you'll be finding this reference voltage is internally generated reference voltage. But in most of the ICs, you will have to give this reference voltage to digital to analog converter. Now, why there is a need of to understand this reference voltage that you will get it in parameters. So first basic parameter of digital to analog converter that is resolution or one can say step size. So resolution and step size both are same and that we can calculate as per V reference divided by 2 to the power N where N is number of bits which we translates into analog output and this resolution that even we can calculate as per full scale voltage divided by 2 to the power n minus 1 right so here c n is number of bits and see this fsv that is full scale voltage now sometimes you'll be finding with digital to analog converter we'll be having gain k so as if digital to analog converter is having gain k then that k that we need to multiply it with this data to have exact resolution or one can say step size. So if gain is k with digital to analog converter then resolution that will be k multiplied by v reference divided by 2 to the power n or one can say k multiplied by full scale voltage divided by 2 to the power n minus 1 and if you see this formula then based on this resolution formula we can calculate full scale voltage and later on I'll explain you what is full scale voltage with respect to binary weightage digital analog converter. So if you compare this then you'll be finding full scale voltage and that is V reference into 2 to the power n minus 1 divided by 2 to the power n. You see kk will get cancelled 2 to the power n that will go in numerator. So V reference into 2 to the power n minus 1 divided by 2 to the power n that is what full scale voltage. Now let us try to understand binary weightage digital to analog converter and in that we will see all these parameters. So in binary weightage digital to analog converter, let me explain you the basic circuit first. So in its circuit, we'll be having operational amplifier. So here I'm connecting operational amplifier. This is inverting terminal. This is non-inverting terminal non-inverting terminal that will be connecting it with ground this is my output voltage and here we'll be using negative feedback so in negative feedback we have rf resistance and over here in binary weightage digital to analog converter you see will be connecting resistance as per over here it will be having 2r then next resistance will be to square r and likewise we will be finding nth resistance that will be having 2 to the power n 
R. So that is how values of resistance is connected. And here you will be finding that is what will be connecting with respect to reference voltage. And that reference voltage, that reference voltage is connected based on digital data. So here we will be having digital switch. And that digital switch that, we, that can be connected with ground or this V reference. See if this A1 digital data is zero then this switch is connected to ground and if this A1 data is one then this switch is connected to V reference. So this is switch A2 and likewise now we have switch a n so that is how the basic circuit which is there with binary weightage digital to analog converter now let us derive output voltage equation so here you see output voltage v0 let us see that for switch a1 so here gain is minus RF by 2R. So minus RF by 2R into switch A1 that I need to write. As if A1 is 0, then it will be connected to ground. And then as if A1 is 1, then it will be connected to V reference. So here I need to multiply V reference. Similarly for switch A2, gain is minus RF by this resistance that is 2 square R switch is A2 into V reference and up to we have nth switch over here which is having gain minus RF by 2 to the power N R and this switch is A N into V reference voltage. Right, so that is how output voltage equation is there. Now further we can simplify this output voltage equation. So we can say if you take this minus RF by R into V reference common, then this will be A1 by 2 plus A2 by 2 square means 4 plus up to An divided by 2 to the power n right so based on this we can say see this is my msb switch and this is my lsb switch with digital data right now to understand this properly what i'll be doing is i'll consider one practical case of three bits so for three bits my output equation that will change now that equation will be minus rf by r into v reference into a1 by 2 plus a2 by 4 plus a3 by 8 see that is how output voltage equation is there right and further calculation of this we can do it by one practical example like see if I say my switch a1 a2 a3 data that is 110 then what will be my output then my output voltage that will be minus RF by R into V reference into see this will be 1 by 2 See A1, A2, A3. So that is 1, 1, 0. So 1 by 2 plus 1 by 4 plus 0 by 8. So we can say technically this is minus RF by R into V reference into 6 by 8. Right. And you see earlier I have already told in basic formula there can be gain k right 
so to eliminate this i can say minus rf by r that is unity which is my gain right so if i say my gain is unity then i can say minus rf by r that is 1 right and then further simplification can be done so here for simplicity all i am doing is i am saying like see this is 1 so my output voltage that is v reference into a1 by 2 plus a2 by 4 plus a3 by 8 now what i will do is i'll make a table of this 3 bit output voltage equation right and that will resolve our understanding bit more so let us have a table first so here i'll be considering digital data so that is a1 a2 a3 here i have analog voltage so that is v0 now you see my digital data that is starting from 0 0 0 and it will go up to 1 1 1 now for that what will be my output voltage so if you place a1 a2 a3 value then for 0 0 0 it will be 0 for 0 0 1 it will be v reference by 8 for 0 1 0 it will be 2 v reference by 8 for 0 1 1 it will be 3 v reference by 8 for 1 0 0 it will be 4 v reference by 8 for 1 0 1 it will be 5 v reference by 8 for 1 1 0 it will be 6 v reference by 8 and for 1 1 1 it will be 7 v reference by 8 you see that is what you will be getting as if you place data in this equation right so now that is how we can have this table now we can plot this value over here so on y axis we will be taking analog voltage and over here we will be taking digital data on x axis so on y axis v0 that starts from 0 then v reference by 8 then 2 v reference by 8 by 8 then 7 v reference by 8 and in digital data you will be finding our digital data will be 0 0 0 then 0 0 1 0 1 1 0 and 1 1 1 so you see when it is 0 0 0 voltage is 0 when 0 0 1 voltage is v reference by 8 then when 0 1 0 voltage is 2 v reference by 8 right so here as if you see my earlier points right then i have told step size that is v reference by 2 to the power n right so this is what technically step size this is my step size right and that is what v reference by 2 to the power n right and that we can even calculate as per full scale voltage divided by 2 to the power n minus 1 so what is full scale voltage you see full scale voltage is this so this tap size right that we can calculate as per full scale voltage divided by 2 to the power n minus 1 right so this is what full scale voltage it starts from 0 it goes up to 7 v reference by 8 
right and based on that we can find all other parameters which is the regarding digital to analog converter in next video i'll solve one example so it will resolve your understanding bit more so stay tuned with this channel you'll be finding very interesting example in next video thank you so much for watching this video please give your valuable suggestions the reason is your suggestions are motivating me and in future based on your suggestions i'll place video